before we begin, if you want to see music bios or more good videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Also, I've started a Patreon account. On here you get more copyrighted material and they'll be uploaded 48 hours prior to YouTube. If you want to support or visit, link is in the description. And without further ado, on to our feature presentation. Welcome back everyone. Today I want to do my 2024 VMA predictions. <sighs> Let's not mince words. These nominees suck. There are a lot of nods that don't belong in certain categories and MTV is trying to push for a stand war. Now if you followed my channel for now about three years, you should know how I feel about these fan voted award shows. But anyway, this award show was supposed to take place on September 10th, but due to conflicts with the with the 2024 presidential debate, they decided to push back to 9/11 because they were all because MTV always aligns themselves with 9/11. And again, you could ignore my suggestion, make this a Labor Day weekend special. It will do better. But this is MTV. When do I ever make good decisions? But like last year, and perhaps now perhaps every year. Not all the nominations have been revealed yet, so stay tuned because when they do, I'll place them in the comments below. Why they can't reveal them in one day? Because MTV. But let me stop whining and get this over with. And we're going to start off with Best Direction, and because these are general categories, I'll try to go through these very, very quickly. And the nominees are Ariana Grande, We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love, directed by Christian Breslauer, Bleachers, Tiny Moves, directed by Alex Lockett and Margaret Qualley, Eminem Houdini, directed by Rich Lee, Megan Thee Stallion, Boa, directed by Daniel Iglesias Jr., Sabrina Carpenter, Please, 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 directed by Bardia Zinali, and Taylor Swift, featuring Post Malone, Fortnite, directed by Taylor Swift. And I feel like Taylor Swift has been nominated for this category every single year for some of her own self-directed videos. But, you know, there are, I mean, I mean, that video isn't really that bad when I looked at it. So picking a winner, I think this one is going to be very, very cut and dry. I'm going to roll with Fortnite to win Best Direction. Because it's Taylor Swift and you know they love to award Taylor Swift but uh, but of all these videos I don't know if there's a true second place I think she runs away with this one next we have is best art direction and the nominees are Charlie XCX for 360 the art direction was done by Grace Cernow Lisa Rockstar art direction was done by Pong San I'm not even going to try to say that last name. Mega Stallion Boa, art direction was done by Brittany Porter. Olivia Rodrigo, Bad Idea Right, art direction done by Nicholas Des Jordines. Sabrina Carpenter, Please, 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 art direction done by also Nicholas Des Jordines. And Taylor Swift featuring Post Malone, Fortnite, art direction is done by Ethan to Tobman. So, art direction, this will probably be the one time I will not be predicting Taylor Swift to win, but I'm looking for, like, what stood out to me in, that, in the form of the art. And I think I see two, maybe three winners here, but I'm going to roll with Boa by Megan Thee Stallion because she had that video game type thing for her video, and that was really nicely done. So, I'm going to roll with Megan Thee Stallion to win this category. Best Cinematography. Nominees are Ariana Grande, We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. Cinematography done by Anatole Tromibov. Apologies if I mispronounced that. Charlie XCX, Von Dutch. The cinematography done by Jeff Byerman. Dua Lipa, Illusion. Cinematography done by Nikita Kuzminko. Olivia Rodrigo, Obsessed. Cinematography done by Mars Miller. Raul Alejandro, Touching the Sky, cinematography done by Camilo Monslav, 
and Taylor Swift featuring Post Malone, Fortnite. Cinematography dunked by Rodrigo Prito. And for cinematography, you're looking for what looks like it could be made into a movie. And once again, I feel like it's going to be a Fortnite award show for this one. I'm going to just play it safe. Go with Taylor to win this one. And yeah, moving on. Visual effects. Nominees are Ariana Grande, The Boy Is Mine. The visual effects was done by Digital Access. Eminem Houdini. Visual effects done by a bunch of people. Justin Timberlake, Selfish. Visual effects done by Candice Dragonas. Megan Thee Stallion, Boa. Visual effects done by Mathematics. Olivia Rodrigo, Get Him Back. Visual effects done by a bunch of people. And Taylor Swift featuring Post Malone, Fortnite, done by Flashlight, the Parliament. Well, not that Parliament, but yeah. So visual effects, we're looking for the video that says, says so itself. And once again, I'm not going to pick Fortnite to win because it'll be too boring. It's, for me, it's between Get Him Back and even Bo Boa and maybe Houdini. Because they know, I know MTV, they're going to try to get Eminem a award, a award. He's one of the most nominated men in this year's award show. But once again, yeah, I'm actually, am kind of torn between Boa and Get Him Back. I'm just going to roll with Get Him Back to win. And it's because there was like 40 or 50 different Olivia Rodrigo's. That, I know that took a lot of work for that video to be done. So I'm just going to. Give Olivia Rodrigo the win here. Best choreography. At least Taylor Swift's not nominated here. Nominees are Bleacher, Tiny Moves. The choreography is done by Margaret Qualley. Dua Lipa, Houdini. Choreography done by Charm LaDonna. Lisa, Rockstar. Chore choreography was done by, I did not know this, but Sean Bankhead. Raul Alejandro, Touching the Sky. Choreography done by Felix Fifi Burgos. Tate McGray, Greedy, choreography done by Sean Bankhead. And Troy Savon Rush, choreography done by Sergio Reese, Maru Von Dick, Kirkhoff. Probably the best name I've ever said on this channel. But I will say, Victoria Monet's Oh My Mama got snubbed out of this category. And for my pick, it's actually going to surprise a lot of people. I'm not going for Lisa's Rockstar, and I'm not even going to pick Tate McGray's Greedy. Because that Troy Savon video he did, like last year, was pretty amazing. It was nominated for a Grammy for Best Music Video. And I think the choreography here was done very, very well in this video. So, in a bit of an upset, I'm going to go with Rush by Troy Savon. In the last of the general categories, we have... Best Editing. Nominees are Anita Milvesis with the editing done by Nick Yamul. Ariana Grande, We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. Editing's done by Luis Carras Pimber. Eminem Houdini. Editing done by David Chessel. Lisa Rockstar. Editing done by Nick Cobbler. Sabrina Carpenter Espresso. The editing's done by Jay Shuka. And Taylor Swift featuring Post Malone, Fortnite, done by Chancellor Haynes. And I don't know who I'm going to pick for this one yet. I think your guess is about as good as mine. But for editing, actually, you know what? I am going to pick, I'm actually going to roll with Ariana Grande's We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. I don't, this is pretty much out of a sure, educated guess. But, I will, but let's be real, I think this category is going to go could go in any direction. And here's where the fan voting starts, stuff starts to begin. And you know what, for a change of pace, let's do something a little different. Because this is a fan voted award show, I'm gonna make one true prediction, which you see in white, and then I'm gonna make the pick that will have my vote. That will be in green. So, with that being said, nominees are, okay, 
Camila Cabello, Dua Lipa, Olivia Rodrigo, Sabrina Carpenter, Tate McRae, and Taylor Swift. And for me, MTV screwed this entire category up. First of all, it's an all-female category. Well-deserved. But this is the only category that's not attached to a video. And this is also where this conversation where MTV want to start a stand war begins. And because MTV screwed this entire category up, I'm going to list the songs and featured artists anyway on what I thought would have been nominated. And so with that being said, what would have been nominated for Best Pop would have been Camila Cabello featuring Playboy Cardi for I Love It, Dua Lipa, Houdini, Olivia Rodrigo, Obsessed, Sabrina Carpenter, Espresso, Tate McRae, Greedy, and Taylor Swift featuring Post Malone for Fortnite. There, done. And let me also mention why Camila Cabello is nominated here. You're telling me that her video for I Love It or her pop standards and her fan and her Camila Nizers were better than the Arianators this year. So anyway, for my prediction, my first prediction, what I think is going to win, I, of course, there's it's going to be a hard bet to go against the Swifties. So I'm going to roll with Taylor Swift for the prediction part. But as for the fan, as for the voting, because I like Dua Lipa's song, Houdini the best, I'm going to roll with, that's the song that's going to have all my votes. Even though I know for a fact it's not going to win. Next we have is Best Hip Hop. Nominees are... Drake featuring Sexy Red and SZA for Rich Baby Daddy, Eminem for Houdini, Glorilla, Yeah Glow, Gunna, F You Mean, Megan Thee Stallion, Boa, and Travis Scott featuring Playboy Cardi, Fiend. And even though this is one of the biggest songs of the year, I am very surprised Lovin' On Me by Jack Harlow didn't get nominated here. Biggest song of the year, I even though if it's one of the more lousier songs of the year, it's not nominated here. But best hip hop for me, I think the prediction is going to go to a woman because women are marketable. They have, and the fans always vote for a woman over a man. I'm going to roll with my prediction will go to Megan Thee Stallion for Boa. And while they'll probably get some of my votes, let me just also make mention I'm also throwing votes for Yeah Glow because that song was surprisingly good for me. And I hope Glorilla, and, she, and I know Glorilla is performing at this BMA, so this might boost her confidence in this category. Best Rock. I'm going to go through these really quickly. Bon Jovi, Legendary. Coldplay, Feels Like I'm Falling in Love. Green Day, Dilemma. Kings of Leon, Mustang. Lenny Kravitz, Human. U2, Atomic City. And I've only seen probably two of these videos, and that's for Coldplay and Green Day. But I am going to roll with Coldplay to win. They're also, I'm also throwing all my votes towards that direction. Because at least there was a message behind their video. More on that in a bit. And Best Alternative. Boy, do I have a lot to I have so, there are so many things going on in this category. Nominees are... Benson Boone for Beautiful Things, Bleachers, Tiny Moves, Hosier, Too Sweet, Imagine Dragons, Eyes Closed, Linkin Park, Friendly Fire, and Teddy Swims, Lose Control Live. Wait, Teddy Swims is considered an alternative video? I've seen this, I've seen this um, R&B pop. You just, this is, that's the type of song where you can't put in any category because what's the main genre? But... As for winners go, I think my prediction is going to go to Beautiful Things by Benson Boone to win. Because at least someone finally acknowledged that this is a, an alternative song. Even if I think the song is very lousy. But with that being said, it's not getting any of my votes. I am throwing my votes for Hosier for Too Sweet because his comeback in 2024 is something that seriously needs to be examined. All I'll say. And now, 
best Latin video. And once again, I'm gonna apologize if I mispronounce anything. Nominees are Anita Milavises, Bad Bunny Monaco, Mike Towers Lala, Carol G, Mi Ex Tiena Razon, Peso Pluma and Anita for Bella Gale, and Shakira featuring Cardi B for Pantera. And here's a fun fact of all the songs on here, Mil Vesez by Anita was the only one that didn't chart in America. And it goes to show you that Anita is more of a popularity contest pick than anything. But if it's just me, I'm not seeing or hearing it. And some of it might have to do, I don't think none of it is her fault. I listened to her album this year and I thought it had a bit of promise. But why is she having a hard time crossing over to America? That's going to be my million dollar question. And I'm going to keep asking until she get another charting single outside of Envolver. That's what I'm going to be keep saying. Because for me, Anita has the potential. She has the beauty. She has, she might have some of the vocals. But her American team, whoever her te runs her team in America, I'm, we're just, I'm just not seeing it here. And it's very frustrating. So anyway, she is going to have my prediction for winning this video because found out Anita is super duper duper popular everywhere else just not in America but because I don't know much about her she's not gonna have all my votes I'm throwing my votes on Carol G for me XTN out as on because that I actually did listen to that song and it's very groove and a nice decent tribute to Selena Best R&B. Nominees are, okay, what kind of deal Alicia Keys has with the VMAs? Because I feel like she's nominated every single year. No shade. She nominated for a lifetime. We have Bunny Long, Made For Me, SZA, Snooze, Tyla, Water, Usher featuring Summer Walker and 21 Savage, Good Good, and Victoria Monet, Oh My Mama. And all these songs are pretty good. But, for my, but I will say... This was a blown opportunity for, because Tanache Nasty got super duper snubbed. I, and obviously, I would put that over Alicia Keys' Lifeline video. So for prediction, because popularity, I'm going to roll with Snooze by SZA. And while it probably might get some of my votes, I might be spreading them out around. I think in terms of R&B video, I'm going to throw my majority of my votes on On My Mama by Victoria Monet. It should have been nominated for Best Choreography, which I believe was done by Sean Bankhead. So maybe this could be, maybe if she somehow pulls off an upset and wins, it'll be good for me. But let's be real, I will not complain if any one of these won. Best K-Pop nominees are Jungkook featuring Lotto for Seven, Lisa Rockstar, NCT Dreams for Smoothie, Eugene Super Shy, Stray Kids Lala, Lala, and Tomorrow Together for Deja Vu. And one of the reasons why I did not, I'm just going to state this now. One of the reasons I was asked a question about my nomination prediction video I done a month ago while Lisa wasn't present. Because at the time, I did at the time that video wasn't out yet, and I already done exported my video, put it on YouTube, waited for the perfect time to strike. So for me, I thought Rockstar was going to get thoroughly caught in between years, probably nominated for Song of the Summer. That's what happened, and it is going to have my prediction, and no doubt it's going to have my prediction to win this category because Blackpink stands. They still rally behind Lisa, even if I think the song is lukewarm at best. But I will be, let's say, I will be throwing my votes towards Dugene's Super, Super Shy because that song was a really surprise for me last year. And also, I'm not, while I'm not going to give it the green look, I'm also going to throw some of my votes towards Straight Kids. And now, Best Afro Beats. Nominees are... Aira Star featuring Giveon, Last Heartbreak Song, Burna Boy, City Boys, Chris Brown featuring DeVito, Sensational, Tim's Love Me JG, Tyla, Water, and Usher featuring Fields, Ruin. 
And I think, yeah, this category is cut and dry. It's going to go to water by Tyler. I think this is going to be a runaway favorite to win this one. But I will, and it's also going to be my, the song that I'm going to throw my votes towards. Because even though it kind of got to overplay, I still thought the song was pretty good. I'm not going to complain here. Video for good. Nominees are Alexander Stewart for If You Only Knew. That song talks about mental health issues. Billie Eilish, What Was I Made For? We all know why this is here. Coldplay, Feels Like I'm Falling In Love. That song talks about Disability Pride Month. Ray, Body Posit for Genesis. That song talks about body positivity. Jordan Lucas featuring Jelly Roll for Best Of Me. That's, that highlights addiction. And Tyler Childers, In Your Love, highlights LGB, LGBTQT love, which is a very sticky territory in country music. Let me also say, I'm very, very surprised that we're getting country videos now nominated here. Could, th could this be a segue for a country in the VMAs in the future? We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I think this one's another cut and dry video. I'm going to roll easily with What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish, one of my favorite songs from last year, and it's also going to be the song that's going to get all my votes. Best Collaboration. Nominees are Drake featuring Sexy Red and SZA for Rich Baby Daddy, Glorilla featuring Megan Thee Stallion, Wannabe, Jesse Murph featuring Jelly Roll for Wild Ones, Junk Cook featuring Lotto for Seven, Post Malone featuring Morgan Wallet, I Had Some Help, and Taylor Swift featuring Post Malone for Fortnite. Wow, a lot of mediocre songs here. And again, nice to see Country getting some love here, even though I don't think it's going to win. This is also Morgan Wallen. I believe this is his first ever nomination in a VMA, so congratulations to Morgan Wallen. But let's be real, this is Taylor's world. We're just living in it. It's going to have my prediction and as if, as if you probably figured it out now, it's not getting any of my votes. The only good song that's on here is Wanna Be by Glorilla and Megan Thee Stallion. So I will be throwing all of my votes towards that song in video. Because it's good in both categories. And now, Push Performance of the Year. If you don't know what Push Performance is, every month MTV highlights a rising superstar to showcase for them for the entire for one month entirety and it go and it goes on from August of one year to July of the next so that's what that's what it is so with that being said nominees are Cali for area codes Glorilla lick of some Beth Benson Boone in the stars Coco Jones ICU Victoria Monet on my mama Jesse Murph wild ones Teddy Swims Lou control chop for Rome, Red Wine Supernova, Flynn of Boss, Yeah, Lafay Goddess, Ellie Sarah from Easy, and The Warning Automatic Sun. Yes, yeah, 12 nominees. And I think this one's also kind of cut and dry here too. I'm going to roll with Red Wine Supernova by Chapel Rome to win this category. Because, man, what a summer she's having. But I will say... Well, I'll be throwing, I will be throwing votes towards this song, and I'm not going to mark all the songs that I'm throwing my votes towards, because Victoria Bonet might get some, Glorilla might get some, if, if I think that song's mediocre, and hell, even Easy by Ellie Seraphim, I'm not going to count that song out and win in this category. That's something to keep my eye on. Push Best New Artist. Nominees are Benson Boom, Chapel Rome, Gracie Abrams, Shabuzi, Teddy Swims, and Tyla. And let me say, I'm actually kind of happy Sabrina Carpenter isn't nominated here. Sure, she's having a breakout year, but she is not really a new artist. She's been around for a decade. It's just taking her now to get her proper shine. I think all of her fans they could agree with me that they're happy to not see her here. So best new artist, you know, before the summer, I probably would have said Vincent Boone. 
But now that the summer done happened, I think this one, Chaperone, is going to run away with this category. One of the best songs of the summer. Her album, I'm happy to see her album finally getting that traction that she deserves. And that Lollapalooza performance is what took me over the top. But I will say, I'm while I am, yes, I will be throwing my votes towards Chaperone. But I probably will say Shibuzi also deserves some votes. His album was pretty good this year. Even if he's known for just the Bar Tipsy song, it's scaring me that he's is looking like he's becoming a one-hit wonder when there's a lot of depth towards him. And probably Tyla, because I mean her her debut album was also had some promise. Those two will also get votes alongside Chaperone, but she's gonna have most of my votes. From Push Best New Artist to the Artist of the Year, nominees are Ariana Grande, Bad Bunny, Eminem, Sabrina Carpenter, SZA, and Taylor Swift. And let me just chalk this SZA nomination to them apologizing that she got snubbed out of this category last year. Also, I feel like Kendrick Lamar got snubbed out of this category because, yes, he didn't drop an album, but he had a movement with all the diss tracks this year. So let me just say that. And come on. I'm going to be sick of saying this, but it's Taylor's world. We're living in it. She's going to win again. Because when you release an album that has 2.6 million first week, and then you proceed to variant push to block Billie Eilish, Chapel Rome, Charlie XCX, Zach Bryan, Kanye West, it will always take you over the top. But, and as y'all all know, she's not getting any of my votes. She doesn't need none of my votes. So, who will I be throwing my votes towards? In, norm in most contexts, it will be SZA, but her 2024 has been pretty much quiet after the SOS year she had. And that basically, for me, leaves... And I think Ariana Grande had a pretty rough album rollout for her latest album. Basically, that leaves me with Sabrina Carpenter, because statistically wise, she had I think she had a better singles year over Taylor Swift. Just saying. Song of the year. Nominees are Beyonce, Texas Hold'em, Jack Harlow, Love It On Me, Kendrick Lamar, Not Like Us, Sabrina Carpenter, Espresso, Taylor Swift featuring Post Malone for Fortnite, and Loose Control by... Teddy swims and okay maybe this okay at least Kendrick and Beyonce getting some love I know Kendrick's video got caught in between years Beyonce didn't even need a video and let me also mention I meant to mention this for artists of the year I'm also surprised Nicki Minaj I have not said her name at all in this video let me just I'm just saying but for the song of the year, once again, fan voting will take place. I'm really getting sick of saying, repeating myself several times over. And as everyone knows, Fortnite will not have none of my votes. But I will be throwing pretty much all my votes on Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. Song still in the top three. It had went to number one for two weeks. No other Kendrick song has done that. And like I said, he started a movement with this song. And then, hell oh yeah, no OVOs was harmed in the making of this video. So I'm throwing all my votes towards Not Like Us, even though I, I think Fortnite's going to win. And last but not least, Video of the Year. Nominees are Ariana Grande, We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love, Doja Cat, Paint The Town Red, Billie Eilish, Lunch, Eminem, Houdini, SZA, Snooze, and Taylor Swift featured Post Malone, Fortnite. And before I break these categories down, let me show you all the views on YouTube that these videos have. And of course, they're in the million, 
and these numbers have probably changed by the time you're watching this. We have Ariana Grande's We Can't Be Friends has 143, Do Doja Cat's video had 263, Billie Eilish 42 million, 136 million for Eminem, 80 million for Snooze, and 100 million for Fortnite. So if this category was based on YouTube views, Paint the Trial Red would have won, but this will come with an asterisk. And that's because Paint the Town Red is the oldest video out of all of these. Let's be real. So, yeah. But since this is not based on YouTube views, it's based on the, what the fans want. And I have a fear that for the third year in a row, Fortnite by Taylor Swift will probably win. Even if I think the video is kind of decent. It has the making of a video of the year winner. And of course, it's not going to get none of my votes. I am going to throw my votes towards We Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love. Because while that song has is pretty decent for what it is, I did like the video, even if I only seen it like once or twice. It's very nicely done. It also had the makings of a video of the year winner. But also who got snubbed, Espresso, Greedy, Beautiful Things by Benson Boone. I feel like those categories, I felt that those songs were better fit for this category. So that concludes my VMA predictions for now. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Who do you think will win at this year's VMAs besides Taylor Swift? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.